Hello everyone and welcome back to Town TV. It's Saturday morning, we are at Gosford and we are doing a Wildcat special. I am with Sarah Belt. Sarah, morning. Morning. How are we? All right. So, tell us a little bit about Wildcats, what's it all about? So, the FASSE Wildcats scheme is put together to encourage girls from age 5 to 11 to come and try football for the first time. Um, it's done in a fun and safe environment, with the emphasis being on the fun part. Um, they can dip in and out as much as they want, they can come, they can book as many sessions as they want. It's run, um, it's been running for, uh, for us for the last month um, and it runs all the way through to the end of August and then we're looking at hopefully um, expanding on that and maybe doing another one in the evenings. Sounds good. Um, what's the turnout been like? Because I mean, I, I've come down the uh, last couple of weeks and the field is packed with girls running around playing football. Yeah, we've been really fortunate here that um, Generally, we're getting between 25 and 45 um, girls down each week. Uh, we've had the same familiar faces come in, about 25 girls, um, and then each week we've uh, kind of got four or five extra ones. So, what what do you put the success down to? Why are we? Why are you know? What is it about town? What, what are we doing? Well, I think Johnfield Town, the club, is it's, in itself is a success. Um, I think we're very encouraging of junior football. Um, we've been running um, girls only sessions on a Saturday for the last few years um, so we fit well into the um, SSE Wildcats scheme um, and I think just generally because they've got um, a platform to go and continue to play football here um, it's just uh, we, we are also very lucky that we've got great social media that we've been able to put out good good um, so we're going to run it till August and then you said we'll see how we do with even the sessions but we've set a marker here so how do we make it even better next year what do we need to do well we need more coaches and more helpers involved I mean, at the moment we've got about 15 from the club um, some of the uh, girls that are already playing for the um, club come and help down uh, down here as well um, but we need more people involved and we need to get the word spread wider as well so there it is there's a play we need more people down here please would be good uh, and finally, yourself, what is it about town? Why do you come out and put all the hours in for Dunfield Town? Myself, personally, I'm, I'm really passionate about junior football. I'm passionate about football itself, but uh, particularly about pushing girls' football. Um, and as I said, giving the girls a platform to continue to play from the age of six or seven all the way through to hopefully adulthood uh, and stay with the town. Good stuff. Great. Sarah, thank you very much. Thank you for your time. I am with James Stubbley. James, hello. Morning. Hello. Hello. All right. Yeah, good. So, Wildcats, you've been down here. I've been down here seeing you do loads of stuff. Um, you've got a son, not a daughter, mm -hmm. who plays football for one of our town teams. So, why come down? Why get involved? Uh, for me, it's, um, it's just about developing young kids to play football. Um, I used to play football myself um, due to work circumstances um, that dropped away. Um, and now my son, as you say, has got involved. Um, for me, it's another way of getting involved in the club, volunteering. Um, and seeing kids develop um, and football is a really good sport to get kids involved in at a young age and then particularly with the Wildcats and here at Dromfield Town and we've got that transition through to um, adult teams as well so it's, yeah. a, it's a great club and a, and a great session to be involved in. Good stuff. Um, what have the sessions been like that you've been involved with or you've been running? Um, so we obviously we try and do basics to start with um, you know we want to get more people on the ball getting used to having the ball at their feet basic control and then just gradually building up each week you know trying to get that transition into a, into a football game um, a lot of the emphasis is on individual skill and obviously teamwork and, and the main thing enjoying it um, and that's really important yeah I mean, I've seen a lot, lot lot of girls running around with smiles on their faces kicking the balls kicking a few shins it's all uh... yeah definitely we've had I mean we've had a real mix of weather as well since we started yes. about five six weeks ago we've had everything from red hot sunshine to um, you know, a downpour which we've had today as well and, and that's really it the girls you know finish with smiles on their faces they start with smiles on their faces and nobody moans nobody complains it's just football bringing everybody together yeah good stuff uh, and finally for me um, why do you think it is so successful at town why are we getting all these people coming down I think the club's a brand um, you know people know Dromfield it's a really good area uh, I think people are really proud to support their team and anything that's got the Dromfield Town Football Club badge on I think people are really keen to be involved in there's a lot of passion in the club it's run entirely by volunteers you know even even the players are voluntary as well um, People are proud to be involved with this football club um, and I think that's why we get a real good turnout of Wildcats. Agreed. Good stuff, James. No Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. All right. We are with Matt Bell. Matt, hello. Hi, Steve. How are we, pal? All right? Yeah, I'm all right. A bit wet. All right, though. Yeah, it's been one of them mornings, hasn't it, really? It has. So, 
Wildcats, obviously I've spoke to Sarah, I spoke to James, obviously you're heavily involved. What is it about town? What is it about Wildcats? Um, well, um, as as people may, may know now, um, girls football is growing. I think that's um, quite obvious with the you know the, the uptake on the, the, the following of the English Lioness as England Lioness. Yeah. The, the World Cup that's coming up. It's um, it is a sport that's growing rapidly in in both uh, participation and and in support. Um, and SSE Wildcats is is given us the chance to introduce football to girls that perhaps wouldn't usually go down that route. You know, yeah. they'd, they'd stick to the usual um, girly stuff, ballet dancing, gymnastics. Now we're giving them the opportunity. We're introducing them in a fun way, in a safe environment. Uh, and giving them that chance to, to join in and enjoy football, to learn as well as, as enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, like you said, I mean, you know, obviously, yes, there's the Lionesses who, you know, who are making a massive impact on football worldwide. Yeah. But, you know, it just feels like we've had girls for a long time down at town playing playing teams, but it just feels like the moment the momentum is really starting to grow and, and getting bigger. It is. I think, I think in general, again, the... Um, the girls football, the, the leagues are growing, there's more teams um, joining uh, the, the leagues year on year, uh, more teams are growing from, from the younger age groups um, and we just seem to be, be able to recruit more at a younger age and, and schemes like the, the SSC Wildcats, um, schemes like our nursery which has is, is always encouraged girls to, to, to come along and, and play. Um, encourages that and, and then obviously from that we grow teams, a new team every year. Uh, we, we're the biggest and we've got the biggest number of teams we've ever had for girls this year uh, and we, we are looking to grow and expand year on year. Good stuff. So what, what are the development plans for, for ladies at town for, and girls at town? What, what's from, Well, from right from the outset there's, there's the, the Wildcats um, which encourages girls from 5 to 11 to get involved and to have a look at uh, football. And then from there we have the under nines all the way through to uh, under 16s um, and then beyond that we are looking now at uh, building a ladies development team which will, will take on the post 16 year olds uh, and look to develop them there's a clear pathway all the way through from under nines into uh, open age adult football ladies football sounds good so uh, we just need probably just to get some more ladies coaches involved some more general and volunteers because you know we need help we've got to keep it going uh, we do. We have uh, currently one lady coach um, involved and, and the, the, the opportunities are there. I know that the local FAs, the county FA runs um, all female coaching courses which, which obviously takes that uh, pressure of performing in front of uh, men and, and I know they're doing initiatives on, on the all female referee courses and that to get, to get women um, into football. It's, it's growing, we do need more female volunteers. Um, and and obviously the more we get, the more he, he says that, that that you know they are role models. That he says yeah. the president for, for getting team other the girls and other women and females involved. Good stuff. Great. Well, thanks for your time, Matt. Thank you very Cheers, much, Steve. Thanks Cheers, Bob. pal. Thank Cheers. you.